My friends, the 2023 Thurgood Marshall Awardee, Honoree, John Echohawk. Before Mr. Echohawk speaks, I would like to invite up to the stage Jennifer Weddle, Chris Echohawk, Mary Smith, and Heather Torres to present the blanket ceremony and honor song. Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer Weddle. I'm a Northern Cheyenne attorney. i uh, practiced in Denver my whole career. And John Echohawk has been a mentor, and I think there from day one of my, of my legal career. And it was with great honor that I uh, became a co-chair when my good friend uh, Juan Thomas called on us. And uh, my colleagues Troy Ide at Greenberg Traurig and our extended family and friends and John Walsh and Wilmer Hale came together to make this happen because for us, in Indian country, as, as you heard Judge Hartz tell you, John is never about himself. He's always lifting up the next person, pushing us forward to go out there and do the best we can for tribes and tribal sovereignty. And uh, The National Native American Bar Association is here in force tonight. Um, John is, <laughs> yes. Um, John has, I think, handpicked every Nanaba president since 1972, um, including our current president, our first Native Hawaiian president, Makalika Naholoa'a, back here. Um, and I, I think we have at least eight, maybe nine or ten, former Nanaba presidents here. I just like all the, all the Native lawyers in the room, all the Native warriors and advocates in the room who've been touched by John Echohawk to stand up so that he can see the impact he's had on, on all of you. And, and I'll speak for all of us, just like Judge Hartz's mother, and say we love NARF. Um, and so when we wanted to honor John, we wanted to do that in a culturally appropriate way, which uh, in Plains tribes tradition culture um, means ceremonially robing him. Um, and in times gone by, uh, we used to do that with a buffalo robe. And that would be placed around the shoulders of the honoree. And that was meant to signify that they were part of the family and that we would have an obligation to feed them going forward. Um, that they would always have a place at our table, they would always be part of the family, and everyone everywhere in Indian country feels that way about John Echohawk. Um, so it was very easy to decide to honor him in that way, and the lovely Heather Torres um, picked a wonderfully appropriate gift. Um, since buffalo robes aren't as available uh, as they used to be, uh, we turned to a wonderful company called Eighth Generation, which is actually led by John's niece, Colleen Echohawk. Um, yay for Eighth Generation. The, this is their warrior blanket, and there's no better word to describe John Echohawk than warrior. Uh, this particular blanket um, is designed by uh, Dante Bis Grayson, a citizen of the Osage Nation. Wilson's gonna whoop for that one. Um, Dante is a uh, United States Air Force veteran uh, who served multiple tours in Iraq, Kuwait, and Afghanistan, uh, and came home with very severe PTSD and turned to art uh, to uh, find his healing. Uh, so he has designed this particular blanket with that warrior tradition uh, in mind, and it's been specifically inscribed for John 
uh, in recognition of this moment. Um, we'd like to honor him, and then our wonderful drum singers uh, will play an honor song, uh, at which time we would invite you uh, to come up and shake John's hand as they sing the song. Um, that's our way to congratulate him on this honor um, and for him to share that moment with all of you. I would suggest going in order of table numerics just to make things kind of orderly, and uh, these gentlemen will, will sing their hearts out for us. So thank you, thank you, John. Good evening. Uh, my name is Dallin Maybe. I am Northern Arapaho and Seneca. Uh, I'm grateful to be joined by my brother Steve Lapointe, who is from Rosebud. Um, and it is our absolute honor, John, to be a part of this recognition of the many accomplishments that um, you have endured throughout your life. Um, <clears throat> I had hoped to have about 45 minutes to regale you with tantalizing tales of NARF's early days. Um, but I'm proud. I actually have a, an early connection to the Echo Hawk family. When I was about three, uh, Larry was a young attorney who helped my mother with her first divorce. So thank you, Larry. It, was, it worked out well. But, but on a serious note, <clears throat> One of the first experiences uh, that we go through in this life is the quiet reassurance and warmth of our mother's heartbeat. Um, it is a place that I think we often return to uh, in times of difficulty and challenge, whether we realize it or not. And when we offer these blankets, when we offer these buffalo robes, we're offering a piece of that solace that, and that warmth that perhaps we remember in the innermost parts of our souls. And a lot of people say that this drum, this represents that heartbeat, and that we can return to those places in times of challenge, um, sometimes by choice, other times we are simply asked, but we walk on paths that are replete with difficulties, with challenges to our resolve and our commitment to our passions, to our family, to our communities. Um, and it has been an absolute honor, John, to know that this NARF community stands with my community, with my family. You've literally protected my children. And so I'm absolutely honored to be able to sing these songs to honor John Echo Hawk and his family that have sacrificed so much on behalf of Indian country. But it is more than an honor song. Uh, these songs are meant, as I mentioned earlier, to take us back to a place where we can find, um, hopefully, the courage and the resolve to continue down these difficult paths. I'm a proud graduate of ASU Law, and, <clears throat> and it is absolutely humbling to stand amongst so many fierce warrior advocates for not just tribal rights and tribal communities, um, but for all of us. Um, and so we offer the song to John, to you. Uh, the love in this room is evident. And we are grateful for you, and we stand with you. <clears throat> so the first part of this song is a couple push-ups of a prayer song to bless you as you return to your homes, as you return to your communities as you return to those fights uh, that we hope that you keep, keep at. And the second part is when you can come up and, and shake John's hand and uh, honor him, stand with him. 
So we'll go ahead and get that started. Thank you. 